I don't know what is happening here. So here's a soulmate card. Watch the dailies, watch the weekly. Okay, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna tell you. Make sure you're subscribed because I that way you get a notification. I'm gonna be talking about a lot of things that are being healed right now and things that we all need to know, especially if you are a very spiritual person, a sensitive person, an empathic person, because I'm not talking about dark empaths. This isn't so you can just study how to manipulate people. Boy, that's going to be coming back on you hard. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. But we've had new love. We have the soulmate card in the weekly. The Ace of Raphael comes through, which is like the Ace of Cups. Um, what else was over there? Romance? I'm hearing divine connections because it's time. Something was drastically wrong with the divine feminine that energy was trapped in a tower screaming for help for thousands of years now i'm not promising that today's the day all of that breaks open but we're definitely heading in the right direction this is the return of the medicine woman yeah i'm i'm saying the feminine energy however that expresses for europe we all have masculine and feminine within us um and if you are somebody who's not polarized between those two that's absolutely beautiful and thank you for embodying that energy that's wonderful um okay i just got i th this just might be my ego humor coming in but i'm like in my head i'm like she's coming out of the tower screeching like a harpy like just you've kept me prisoner for all this time you're gonna pay um <laughs> it could be a little bit of that so be careful especially if you're somebody who has been contributing to uh the abuse of the divine feminine energy that will come back on you and women can be some of the biggest perpetrators of this when we diminish one another uh competition when you're jealous oh my gosh really you can't be happy for someone you're mad because you're trying to get pregnant and someone you know got pregnant you can't be happy for them i'm sorry i don't i'm not in that realm i don't get it i don't understand it and if you are that person you need to reevaluate or if someone comes into your life and maybe they've had a lot of life experiences but you chose a different path and you start to get jealous of them you start to mistreat that person just because you don't like that you didn't make the same choices as them those people are going to be losing their minds and they're going to get abusive even more so than they have been they're really going to start tearing after you if you've had a weird couple of weeks like i've spoken to people on the phone who just came in hot like i'm like hello and they're like Tell me this, 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 this and, and don't delay. And like, <laughs> I'm just like, I got, I got nothing for you. Okay. I, I've got no energy left for you. So be ready for that. People are not going to be responding to this very well. Now, if you're like, Michelle, will you talk about soulmates? That's the most interesting part. Well, the point that I'm getting at here is that all of these things could be breaking open with the divine feminine energy. And that is it's gonna be making a whole domino effect around. But when all those dominoes fall, you could look over and there's the person that you've been waiting for. If you follow me for any length of time, you know I don't do this. I don't get mushy. I, I've had a very hardened heart for good reason. And I've always kind of been putting the message out there of caution, especially because I've had clients and viewers who just by the way they express themselves to me, I know they're about to head down that same bad path with love. This is different. This is different. This is clearing, I don't know, something away that we didn't even know was a problem. Clearing that away how our sexuality gets treated, how we get treated as people 
in that situation. What is expected of us? What is demanded? And realizing I don't have to be a part of any of that. And getting butterflies is anxiety. <laughs> it's anxiety. It, it might be really wonderful and refreshing to look at someone and just remember them with every ounce of your being, every cell in your body. Remember them and remember the contract and remember the agreements and remember the connections. So let me know how that goes for you. Soulmates aren't always romantic. Here's the disclaimer. Soulmates aren't always romantic and it's not always fun. And there's no guarantee they're going to stay. They're just here to be the catalyst. Some, some of them stay, but not all of them. Again, let me know. Visit angelsouls444.com if you would like to work with me or email me for a live reading at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.